Good morning, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, um, whatever time of the day that this video may find you. I pray that you and yours is doing well, mentally, physically, and spiritually. Um, today, I'm going to do a video on the mother and father's position and obligations as parents um, concerning a child's relationship with God, okay? And I want to first start out with um, us just playing it out there. We pretty much understand. We know that God had created us in His image, that it was from the beginning God's plan was for us to be like Him, okay? Um, so no matter what else it is that we learn here on earth that um, God's wisdom and knowledge, his understanding should supersede anything else, okay? Um, and I'm saying that to say because I want to go ahead and mention, you know, of course, the, uh, the commandment that um, we should honor our mother and our fathers. And um, it reads, to honor thy mother and thy father, that your days be long upon the land which the Lord God has given us. And if you just read that like right out, you would think that that's something that is in stone. It cannot be broken. It is a commandment, right? It's a commandment from God. However, God took a lot of time in his commandments um explaining like his very first commandment is about him about our relationship the first few is about us and our relationship with god okay um in matthews 22 um there is um the great commandment mentioning about god um being our relationship with him is the great commandment. It's, it's the commandment that's over all. Um, so, um, I'm saying this to say um, a question that I want to ask yourself. Even though it tells us that we should honor our mother and our fathers, that our days be long. Um and we hear this a whole lot, you know, people tell you, you know, you won't, you won't have short days if you don't, you know, obey your mother and your father. And there are a lot of people out there that's struggling, okay? They're struggling with their relationship with God um, because of their relationship with their parents or their elders. Um... And that should not be happening. As a child, an underage child, I know that is hard because um, you're in your parents' home. They're responsible for you. Um, so you kind of in a you kind of child uh, underage child is kind of in a position where um, they um, can't in their minds. Um, you know, think on the level that God wants them to, but they're kind of strained. They're very, very strained. However, and not that I'm saying that that's right, because that shouldn't be going on either. However, because of the age, the child is in a position where until they get reach a certain age that they can't, they can't speak up, okay? However, once you become an adult, um your obligations to your parents um and you speak it up and rejecting their ways if it's not um christ-like it's totally okay the god the bible says that if you're not doing that you're actually putting your parents and your elders over god okay um The Bible tells us 
that in Ephesians that a parent can cause their children to anger. Okay? If you're raising a child up and you're not raising them in the uh, the right way that God has uh, designed for us to do or, you know, none of us is perfect. Okay? We have our, all, all of us have our own backgrounds from our own raisins, from our ancestry, things like that. Um, but the second birth with Christ, our relationship with Christ, 316 is supposed to take us to another place. If we go on to Romans 12, 2 and renew our minds, okay? We can't just say that we accept Christ, but then don't do the work that is needed to do to change our thinking, okay? Um, but a person should not be struggling with whether they should be listening to their parents or listening to God. The Bible says that we can't serve two masters. Okay? That's including our parents. If we're, what our parents is doing is not in line with God's word and we're choosing to do what it is that our parents want us to do because we want to keep our good standing, our good relationship with our parents, then that, um, My husband is out there cutting that grass. I'll see when I get finished this if it's too loud. Um, but um, I just, I wanted to do this video because I know even outside of this pandemic that there's a struggle with that. I've been through it my own self, you know. Um, but the mother's and father's, uh, job as parents in terms of being a Christian is supposed to be, to, to be that example, to teach your children, um, according to God's wisdom and knowledge. If your parents fall short of that, which they are humans. There's going to be some cloudiness there. You are not supposed to fall in line with everything that they do. Um, they're humans. Okay? Um, and if a person loves you, if a person really, really loves you and their, their interest is not at heart, then they would not put you in a position where you would have to struggle between your relationship with the God that you love that's connected to your soul and them. That is not eternal. One day they're going to leave here. One day we're going to leave here. We don't know if the mother's going to go before the child. We don't know. But all I'm saying is us being here on earth is not for us. It's for what we give to those while we're here. And I had a whole lot that I wanted to go over, but I wanted to make this video short because my videos, they tend to be too long. I'm sorry. Um, but it's, it's really in-depth uh, information. So, um, but, you know, Proverbs 4 when it speaks of wisdom, it speaks of her and, and the mother, okay? Um, the father is supposed to have understanding of the word and give that to his wife and his children. And that's how they're supposed to know and have that intimate relationship, lead them to that intimate relationship with God. If you a grown person and you're out there struggling with your relationship between your mother and your father, God's wisdom and understanding supersedes that. Okay? 
Our relationship with God is the great commandment. Take heed to that great commandment. Because now, if you're a parent or grandparent, then now you're responsible for what you're teaching others. I'm not saying this to bring about a conflict, but it's best for all of us to stand up for righteousness. Um, my mother passed um, three years back, and I can tell you, me holding on to my faith, it really, really, um, her last couple years was grand. I, I, I can tell you that. Um, she was a good person, but flawed. Um, but I tell you, the grace and mercy that God allowed me to give my mom, um, I am happy to say that I didn't give in, okay? And she she was too. She really was. We had discussions about that. But I'm telling you, um, don't allow other relationships to get in the way of your relationship with God. Be committed to God. You say you're a Christian. You love the Lord. Pray and ask him to guide you. Read his word. Listen to him. I know that it's a lot of different thoughts and about what's going on. But there's only one truth. There's only one right. Okay? I'm not talking about politics. Okay? Yeah, we do have to do our civic duty and make a vote come this November. That is true. But I just ask for everyone, you know, neither side is perfect. So we have to select the best of the two evils, okay? Because human, what I mean by evil, human is in it, okay? Um, I pray that this pandemic actually change our society make people wake up and shake people in a way that a lot of these um bad policies and um things that we've taken on that we um fight for change for it okay we can be better people and we're supposed to be a, a country of uh predominantly christians and you can't tell you can't tell. We got more stuff going on over here than countries that don't profess to be that to be their dominant religion. So just wanted to to mention that um because people are are struggling with what's right and what's wrong. Um a lot of it is tied into their relationships with family members, um, mostly uh, elders and um, parents. Look, do what's right according to the Lord. Your parents are going to have to um, answer to their actions and you're going to have to answer to yours. Okay? Money, don't worry about it. God got us. We're going to get through this. Anybody that's struggling, you got your own business. God got this. Okay? He got this. So, don't put those things before um, what God deems to be right. If we have faith and we believe in them, then have faith and believe in them. We, we got to suffer through this because we got to get our minds right. But if we do this right, we will come out of this grand. We will come out of this grand. Y'all have a blessed day. Be safe. Um, be prayerful. Faithful. But be vigilant. I see that they're taking down this COVID stuff. Like COVID is gone in stores and stuff. But y'all keep in mind, it's still here. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.